Hi, I'm Alexander. And today we will do CI on GitLab. But the first thing which you mention is the pricing. How much could you do for free? Or how much should you pay? Also, we are going to the pricing page and can find 5 GB storage, 10 GB transfer per month, it's okay. Uh, 400 compute minutes per month. Uh, that is not okay. Uh, that is uh, quite small amount compared with GitHub or Azure DevOps. For example, on GitHub on free tire, uh, we get 2000 minutes per month. Yeah, here I need to add that uh, on GitHub we have only 500 megabytes uh, storage, but that is less important. Um, because uh, every build could take 5, 10 or even half an hour or more. Uh, save artifacts, uh, there are a lot of ways uh, uh, how you, you could do this. For example, you could use uh, uh, AWS S3 or Azure Blob Storages that are almost free. Okay, now let's back and configure a pipeline. Okay, let's do this, and uh, as always, we just uh, commit and try what will happen with the default uh, template. Fine, passed. And uh, let's have a look inside. We have uh, three groups, build, test, deploy, and there are some set of jobs. Go to editor and let's check. Also, we passed because we have only echo, nothing else. Also, for now, we need only CI part. Also, we will delete everything what we don't need. Also, I forgot one thing that uh, we need to choose a template. When we are creating pipelines, we could choose that we want to create a template uh, for .NET. <laughs> Finally, I found here we have a browse template. And you cannot choose normally like on GitHub or any other service and just press button. You need to <laughs> open a YAML file and just copy past it. Here on the uh, very bottom we have sound.net template and uh, it's extremely old. Let's start. Just replace. Also, we need to clean up it a bit because we don't need everything of this shit. No, let's start as is firstly. It fails. Let's check the cause. We saw this um, many times before, also let's go ahead and just add a path to the, our project with solution file. We don't also we don't need to deploy and test. And First, we will add variable here. One more arrow.
the same. Yeah, it's my fault. I skipped. Do not restore and have updated dot net build. So it should be a quick fix. Let's wait. And now everything works fine. Restore successful, build successful. Also, we will just add a publish and save to artifacts somewhere. Artifacts. Let's check the issue. Okay, I have used another syntaxes for variables. Cool. What do we have now? Publish green artifacts should be saved. Let's go and check artifacts here. Works fine. Uh, okay, I will show you the final YAML file. It's good approach, but sometimes uh, you don't have uh, appropriate image with appropriate .NET or maybe uh, install.net inside this image is outdated and what should you do next uh, for example uh, we can try with any system here I already prepared what do we have here this we don't need at all the same pass Deploy test we don't need. We here we are using Linux and here we install.net in these two lines, then we set up appropriate pass environment variables and do the same thing. Restore and publish and save to artifacts. And let's try. And also it works fine. Let's Download artifacts. Also exactly the same. And let's do the same but with Windows. Also we will use a public uh, GitLab runner on Windows. Here, this text is exactly the tag for GitLab runner Windows. Uh, as we know from GitHub, here is a slightly different uh, way how to use environment variable. So other exactly the same, and uh, it's a bit easier to install .NET uh, inside 
the runner. Also, how to get this uh, PowerShell or Bash script? We go to Microsoft. Dot .NET install script reference. Here is an example of uh, parameters for PowerShell script and for Bash script. They are very similar. And here you can go and uh, download. And uh, I already did this. Here in repository we could see these two files were pushed in advance. And also just wait. Finally success. And look, it took almost eight minutes. And uh, inside I think we will see exactly the same steps. But let's have a look what took so much time. It took almost two minutes just to run the runner. And execute step scripts. It uh, where we have installed the dotnet itself. And build and deploy was quite fast. And let's download artifacts to check if everything is fine. Cool. Also, that's all. Let me remind you. Here we have used uh, pre-built Docker image from Microsoft. This already installed .NET or other things. Here we took default GitLab runner on Linux and manually installed .NET and then uh, perform a build. And here we took default GitLab runner on Windows, installed appropriate version of .NET 7 and perform a build. As you could see between the first and second approach, the difference in time is quite small. But with Windows, the difference is huge. But depending on the situation and uh, the amount of control you need uh, on your runner, it could help you. Thanks. Bye.